I think it counts. Um, but yeah, these two are so consistent that I wouldn't be surprised if they ran into each other a lot in like, you know, winter side. It just makes sense. Um, but all right, starting off, Bobo sets up a, a C4 on the uh, right platform, left platform of a uh, PS2. Neither of them are committing to the approach too much. He's trying to use their items to uh, go for something that, that can like uh, get anything going. Yeah, I mean, one of the interesting things about this matchup, normally when there are two characters that have both item play, oh, you were uh -oh. sticky, you were dead. Maybe not. Okay, he's fine. Um, but uh, normally when you have two characters that engage in item play, you can imagine some kooky things going on. Except Snake never really cares about Beach's turnip. He's like, why would I hold a turnip when I can hold a literal explosive? Absolutely, yeah. One, like, uh, at least punishes the opponent, especially Peach, who doesn't really have any disjoints uh, for hitting him. And the other is just, you know, turnip. She has counter. All right, I got to get going. Ah. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> no? Really? What are you doing with your time? TOing? It's, it's, it's a coward's way out. Um, anyway, back to this game right here. Cody at 59% already. Yeesh. Yeah, Bobo is yet to die once here. And Snake with his uh, kooky recovery, he's going to be making it back to the stage at the very least. Oh, interesting that... Cody did not really try to punish the air dodge to ledge. There was really no other option that Bobo could do at that point. But now at 56%, this is where Peach's sometimes inability to kill might really come back to haunt her. I mean, Snake just deals so much damage so quickly and can kill, like right now, up to well, absolutely end. All right, good job taking it out right there. Um. <coughs> Up tilt might still kill. <laughs> and I uh, am woefully proven correct. right now from all these players. Those grenades are so tricky to effectively play around. And ah, we haven't really seen any of those crazy peach combos. Be Do Bobo's DI at these lower percents especially has been really, really good. No float, but Raccoon Cody making it down to the, uh, back down to the ground nonetheless. At 120, yeah, yeah, you, you're very dead. <laughs> That was, I actually missed what killed him the first stock, but two of those stocks were up tilt. It makes sense. Uh, up tilt is basically the anti-air button, and what does Peach want to do? Be in the air. Uh, at the same time, what can Cody do to play around it? It's such a big move. Normally, uh, choosing this track, maybe. Um, normally, Peach can do a good job of microspacing, especially if she really knows what the opponent is going to be fishing for. You know, she has that float. She has the ability to be very precise with her movement. But uh, how precise can you be against a move the size of Snake up tail? Like that thing covers platforms. There is no microspacing against a macro move like that. Did C4 destroy the dot eyes? Neat. I learned something today. All right. <clears throat> PSA, by the way, C4 is right there under the left side of the platform. I, Cody listening to me knew exactly where it was. And okay, here are those big peach combos. Finally getting it, and that's 79%. In a game that seemed like it was very Bobo dominant, uh, all of a sudden, it's not only even. Raccoon Cody has the lead here. Oh, and here comes. We are now in up tilt neutral. Bobo willingly putting himself in the corner just so he can dash right out of it. Yeah, recognizing how small Raccoon's Cody Shield was getting. You know, having to block all of those grenades it means that that dash attack clipped him. And you're not quite dead from this, but it could be a read. 
Good job from Cody. Wrecking. Oh my god. Oh, and now, oh, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? No, don't just throw it up in the air. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that was the correct play because it was funny. That's it. Honk. That <laughs> no, Mr. Saturn. <laughs> Taken before his time. Oh, wow. That forwarder didn't kill. That was it. He said 150. All right, the up air does finish the job. But Bobo with the, you know, slight lead here, honestly, considering the fact that Cody has turned up a little bit with those low percent combos, I'd say that a single neutral win with a turn up in hand could definitely see Cody at least being in the lead for a uh, short while. And it seems like I am being joined by a co-caster now. If Ryan picks up on the hint. Just flail your arms at him. Stand up and flail your arms. What? He does. Uh, sorry, I am getting a co-caster as soon as we work out the technical difficulties. The technical difficulties, by the way, are getting his attention by waving <laughs> your hand. Shoutouts to Ryan, streaming. Uh, we need to get up... We, we need to come up with a way to um, not even going to talk about it because there's right. a game in front of us right me? now. I think my mic's on now. Yes, you want yep. to back on. All right. Cody at 168. Um, I don't know how he can kill Bobo here before he dies, but um, right he now. Has, with stage oh, positioning okay. like this, yep. totally there are ways. This hard right here. Bobo is always like really tricky on uh, recovery as you have to be with Snake. What's that? Why, why didn't he, he back dead. throw? <laughs> no, why didn't he just no, or down, down throw? throw. Yeah, yeah no. Literally, that I, was the one I'm of... I'm pretty sure he just buffered. Okay, sure. yeah. yeah. I mean, if he had spun the control stick, he was at a 50-50 of getting a kill. This is uh, tough right here. How's he going to land? Oh. Yeah, that grenade will not kill like, like that until like plus 200. Oh, well, he's about Please. to be plus 200, so... Okay. Yeah, and you were asking how he was going to kill before getting killed himself. The answer was just by not dying. And now even... This is Dot Eyes. Oh, he's not. He could have picked up the Dot Eyes. That would have been funny. This is best of three still, right? This is still best of three. Because uh, okay. this is a weekly. We only have best of five for the finals. Yeah. So winners oh. finals and losers finals. He, he went for it all right there. Back air stuffing him out. Is this it? Oh. Oh, oh. no Nair. Yeah. Forward air. The Nair would have been quicker. Like that's the issue yeah. is that Florida was just a little bit too slow. I think he was a anticipating a but earlier. It or seems later. like it will be game three, but not entirely sure. Bobo can always just you know, and Snake too, can always just make it back. Oh, he eyed out. Yep, and that's going to make it one-one. Victor of this will end up being in winner semis, and I'm I think I have to play on stream after this. Hmm? I think I have to play on stream after this. All right. Possibly. Against whom? Uh, Suarez. Uh, yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> How do you feel about the Yoshi matchup? Uh, I think I play Pikachu and Steve, and I think um, for both it might be even. I think uh, Steve Yoshi might be slightly losing for Steve, but in reality I think it's even. Um, but I prefer uh, Steve specifically versus Suarez because he's not a campy Yoshi. He goes for a lot of like shield mix-ups and in-your-face things, so um, it's very easy to just like get up him tilt. to commit, you know? Um, yeah, and get those up tilts. Yeah, speaking of up tilts, we're gonna be. That was actually one thing that didn't happen last game. Was there a single oh, yeah. snake up tilt kill? Well, last time I played Bobo, he, he definitely wasn't like really comfortable with hitting buttons. Like, he would, he would never dash attack, he would never really up tilt, but he would always be ready with like a grab or. Or like a crazy ledge trap well, setup. The thing is, game one, he killed with up tilt at least twice. Oh, that was so cute! Oh, nice. Yeah, that was oh, they're, some... they're scrambling. Yeah, it was some nice they're damage. Scrambling. And at 97, it, with a stage positioning, nice. there's an up tilt. Oh, bad DI, but it still didn't kill. It's yeah. Battlefield. Battlefield actually working against Bobo right yeah. now. And allow him, I'd just like start up tilting right here. <laughs> no reason not to. Oh. Wow, th that's, that was like the worst like out of shield punish, but it somehow still worked. Okay, barely dodging that. What Not killing yet. Bot Wait. dodge, yeah, this is now. He's gonna be reverse, yeah. He always does that. 151, I think grab will do it. He's probably so looking so for that now. Okay. Whoa. Cody is like a big forward air fan. He's always forward airing. He won't go for those back airs or airs. Oh, never mind. 
But yeah, he, he loves those forward airs. <laughs> right after he kills with neutral air. I mean, uh, forward air, is, it's nice and safe, but it's the slower move. It's a very, like, integral part of Peach's kit. I think he just, uh, oh, 191 again. Like, he's, how is he living to over 200%, like, almost every stock, and it's I, not Snake? Yeah, I think it's that Bobo's not finding up tilts, not finding grabs even at the higher percents. Yeah. He's just not. It's also I just hard to, like, find grabs on Peach, especially, like, like uh, But it's not hard to find up tilts. True. Um, I think Bobo's just, like, scared of committing right now, just hoping that his, uh, like items will do the damage for him, but Cody is just not committing, which is like yeah. and making it really hard for him to we're like also get seeing the these damage. Higher floats, yeah, in order to avoid the grenades, like right there, you know. Yep, like these grenades have not really been doing anything for him. It's just a uh, float, and like the movement, it's just way too much. Uh, you can't really uh, do anything about it. I will say the grenades are still really useful in terms of just being on the field, because then he can't get any crazy beef combos, because there's just a grenade there and it blows up and. You know, both of them get hit and he gets out of uh, what might be a terrible situation. Yeah. And right now, yeah, he's, he's not really committing to anything. He's not playing for, like, making a comeback, which... Wait, hold on. Yeah, it feels like he, like... Cody has mixed up the neutral really well. The space that he wants to be occupying, the zones that he's hanging out in, like right up there. Oh, he you barely see? avoided that. I, I he's a beach player. That. He knew that it was there, and he knew how to micro space yeah, around it. I think it. he actually baited the, the, the like C4 so it could blow up. Yeah, you know, he's been doing that quite a bit. He's been parrying the C4. He's been running right up to it and looking like he's like, ooh, I'm just a little boy. I don't know where the C4 is. And then he shields it. Who oh, would have smashed well, that? If he, if he angled that up, it would have killed. What's the plan here, Bobo? He needs his kill right here. Oh, no. yeah, it's, at this point. Okay. Alright, that was good. That was good. That's what he needed. And um, Bobo's is still in it. It's never over until it's over, but. Will he, like go for the play is that's the question yeah i mean it's one right now he's still like he's still trying to play for like the damage and like um camp but like it's not really working out when cody just like knows he has a lead well i mean he's not dying <laughs> and so. even if grenades mostly don't work out if a single grenade ends up even hitting not detonating that's damage once so he gets is, this is where bobo's strongest right here yeah like like now he's at 65 the if he gets another 20, 30 percent on him, oh my he's God. in up tilt range. That grenade almost linked into the up smash. A bear. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Peach back air usually doesn't kill from center stage, but 177 plus yeah. rage on Peach, yeah. definitely.